Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to um, use the split node in Node Red. And what the split node does, among other things, is it takes an object or an array and it splits them into individual messages. So it's obvious uh, when someone tells you, but I didn't find it obvious to begin with. And let me start out by uh, by showing you what I try to do first, and uh, I think you'll see that uh, the split node is a much better uh, way to do that. Now, I'm not really blaming Node Red specifically that I went this way first. Maybe I didn't read well or or didn't spend the time to think about it a little bit. But um, you know, I went out and I searched for iterate iterate. So I found this uh, user contributed node, which works perfectly fine. However, you can see it's a little more confusing. It's not obvious as to exactly what's happening here. You have two outputs. One, this is the um, intermediary. Uh, each item from the result set will be sent uh, out this uh, first uh, node exit. I'm not sure what these are called. And you have to do something with it and then send the uh, flow back to the iterate and it continues to flow and then the final result will come out this uh, exit which you know which works it's fine but uh, but you can see there's a little bit of a confusing appeal to it so I was happy to find the uh, oops wrong one there let me see if I get the right one so I was happy to find the split node and and it's a little bit easier to understand so what I'll start with is I'll show you what each thing happened what each each node does here you know, we'll start with timestamp, which just, you know, gets the thing started. I'm just using it to hit the button. The HTTP request in this case uh, goes to a web page of mine. So it's on my website and it's a note or a page I made just for this. And basically it's just a list of categories. The, f the, the next piece is the HTTP or HTML parser. You can see here. And what that does is it takes uh, the payload from the request here and it, based on uh, a selector you pick, will, uh, will pull out only the items that meet that selector. Okay, so then finally the split. <clears throat> In my case, I didn't have to do anything to the split. It, uh, it outputs everything uh, without any modification. So that was great. So first let me run this so you see what happens here. Oh, actually, I already did, so let's we won't even we won't even bother. So you can see it just lists one object, uh, one string object, sort of, uh, for each uh, category in the uh, on the web page. So let's walk through doing this. So let me go to a new flow. I think I've done this a couple of times, a couple of failed videos trying to get this going. <laughs> Um, so let me go to, let's get rid of this search and we'll start with just putting my inject and we'll just sort of debug down here because we'll use it later. Then let's, then the next thing we want to do is, and I'm just going to show you here, you can filter the nodes by just typing here. So I'm just going to take an HTTP request, put that there, put that there, and then I'm going to bop over to this page and just copy the uh, URL there and place it in the URL field here. And that's all you need to do for the request. That'll return the page. Um, and, and and might I say, well, let's run that. And might I say why why I like working in Node Red. Just, um, you know, I, I have no problem with typing, but I am super lazy. Oops, so let's see what happened. Didn't, didn't take. I don't know what's happening there. Let's click off of it, done. There we go. Redeploy it. And let's try that again. <laughs> Don't know why that first one didn't enter. So you see, I just get the full page of the of the uh, request. So now we want to add a, um, the uh, HTML parser in. So you can see in the parser tab, I have HTML there. And I'm going to just, for some reason, mine, like I think you're supposed to be able to just drop it on the uh, node float in the line. But mine doesn't do that for some reason. So you have to put some value in the parser. So let's start with just, um, we'll just start with, uh, just start with A. So this will return all the links in the page, but you'll see quickly that we need to be more specific than that because it'll get uh, links and, and they're just in it. They're just in an array, but you know, all this has all my navigation links and whatnot. So we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here 
and using the web developer tool so you can see more tools and let's highlight this so if you do the uh, hamburger menu and you do more tools you can see uh, developer tools and that that gives you uh, this this uh, pane here and we're going to focus on um, inspection so we're just going to type click the inspection tool and then highlight whatever it is you want to inspect and then that will match it in the uh, code for some reason my computer <laughs> I switched to a different page let me go back all right so let me do that again I'll do it without the highlighter this time or without the magnifier maybe that caused some problem so you see I highlight that and you see it picks it right there so what I what I'm looking for is this this item right here because I can see that list item so I do have uh, uh, unordered lists but I want each list item and even if I go into the sub uh, sub listing it's also a list item and it also has cat item there I don't want the specific I don't want this specific item because that will uh, you know uh, that will filter only that particular item in the list so I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna select copy and you can copy based on the selector so that gets me what I need uh, now I can go over to node red and I can go into a or <laughs> go into my um, what, what is, uh, parser I always forget that name and let's paste the whole thing in there so unfortunately it picks the more than I want so I'm gonna get rid of let's go to the beginning of it so I'm gonna hit home and I'm just gonna delete up to UL I probably can delete up to L just the list item. I probably only need list item dot cat item, but then I need to get rid of this second class, which is dash one forty eight, because that's and one fifty one, because that that uh, filters uh, just that particular item, like I said before. And then I'm going to add the anchor to the selector, and that's it. So now we can uh, now we can click on done, and let's. Uh, and let's see the result we get now. So that, let's deploy it. And that should give us, and I'm gonna clear this uh, debug panel. That should give us, if I got everything, that should give us uh, just an array of all the uh, categories, and it did. So these are the different categories in my web page that are listed on that, on that particular page. So now we want to add the split, so we break these out into individual items. And the reason is, is that uh, if you have an object you're, you know, you may not want to do this with a string per se, but if you have an object, you'll want, you may, you'll run into situations where you need to process them specifically. So I'm going to search on split here, just so I spend a little less time digging, and we're just going to route it, and we'll get rid of this guy, and deploy it, and let's run it and see what happens. Let's get rid of this. Let's run it. And there we go. So we have we're able to iterate through um, that array and get all our categories separately. Now, uh, importantly, um, this will work on an object as well. So you know, in my I'm working on this little sort of Twitter bot, and it's not like a Twitter bot. Like basically, it's a I'm trying to make a Twitter version of me. Um, even though their terms of service don't let you do it that way, but if it acts just like me, then who who cares? But don't tell anybody. So anyway, so you can see, I think I did a split in here. Let's, where is it? Oh, I'm not sure where I put it. But basically, I you're able to split through an object. Oh, I did it. So this, this thing right here is going to be, yeah. So basically, I take my user. So I want to be able to add all the values of my user into a database. So I'm able, so I'm able to split. And uh, so let me just run this so you can see. So basically what this does is it goes and gets the user and although it's um, although I'm getting errors on the database insert you'll see that the values I was able to get all the values separated and then I put them back into a string because I'm creating a SQL string so I was able to get the split the object to get all the different strings whether it's the the key from the object or the string from the object so I was able to use a split to do that, and then I rejoined them separately. So split is very useful. It'll help, it'll help you process a lot of things. And uh, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe. 
and uh, click the alarm bell. I just finally hit 100 subscribers on this channel, so it's starting to gain some traction. Um, I also have Math Code Print, which is another channel that has a, a, a lot of different content. It's more on printing, uh, 3D printing and design. So check that out if you like, and have a great day.